a orange one here. So we are going to just be um, basically dissecting these guys right here, these technicians. Uh, let's go ahead and get those earplugs out. And yeah, let's see what we get. I just want to make sure I can hear. I just was like, wait, where's my audio? Hold up. <laughs> I need to see, have that audio. Uh, anything? No, nothing on that first one. Okay. Well, let's just keep on going. We'll see what we get. I'm sure we'll get something. I can't believe that we're going to get nothing on on all of these. Uh, thermal dissipation. Okay. That is... That's a really good bionic. That basically means heat can't kill me. If I'm smart. I'm like, oh man, that's going to be such a good CBM for us. Uh-oh, we're not going to be able to see. Uh, it's a ti titanium skeleton bracing. I think I already have that, don't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got one of those already installed. Just making sure... Okay, we're going to make sure that's closed. Turn off those headlights. Turn on aisle lights. Hey, hold on, my aisle lights are damaged. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, we'll stop driving then. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and we'll keep on going through these guys. And what we can get. Okay. Nothing really useful from that one. Oh, hold on. Almost did the wrong D there. <laughs> that would not be good. Um, come on. Combat, give me something combat. Good. Oh. Really? Okay. I mean, if it's just the thermal dissipation, I'll take it, but I would like to get something else, but come on, RNG. Give me something. Give me something. Okay, no. RNG does not want to give me nothing besides power storage CBMs, which I don't really even want because they're like useless to me, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> okay, well, there's that. Um, let's go ahead and drive out of here. And I mean, I would like to actually clean that, uh, that CBM if I could and get it uh, ready, but I don't think we have water actually. Hold on, we need water. Where's water near us? There's bridges to our to the east, so there's gonna be some water there. Let's open that up. Let's get those headlights on. We're going driving in the middle of the night. Doing it. We gotta get some water. Gotta get that H two O. Because we're like literally out of it. I think with the longer season. That has compounded the issue of water being a little bit hard to get from rain in uh, more recent builds. I've heard people talking about that. And I would definitely agree. It feels like it's harder for me to come along any water um, with the rain. Okay, but we'll, we'll, we'll have something here because there's a bridge. There's definitely some water that's not too far from us. It's speeded up just a little bit. We got some crater there. What have we got here? Oh, hold on. What do we have here? This looks like an APC. Just like mine. Well, not just like mine. It's a little different than mine. Is there anything in here, though? No, the browning's empty. And I think that I would get an indicator if there's something I could see. And there's security cameras if I wanted them. But I think we're good. I am a little bit curious if I can see down the road just a little bit, like what I see. Anything? Just a crater. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Well, I will. I will roll out then. No need to dawdle, as, as they say, in the land of my parents. Um, okay, let's see. Where are, we, where are we going? 
There is a little camp here that could give us a location of another refugee camp, possibly. Let's, uh, let's just check out the radio here. This might give us another location. Location 20, A23. Okay. Okay. Did I get the contact? I thought, uh, no. Location 45 North. Is that the one that we found that was already up there or something? I'm pretty sure it is. Do I have my flashlight? Oh, my flashlight's dead. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, well, there was probably nothing in there. It had, like, interesting sound effects, but that was it, I, I promise. There's, yeah, look, there's tons of water here. We just need to get up next to it and then siphon some of it. Okay, yep, one tile away, please. Um, what containers do I have? Do I have that tank in here? I thought we had, like, a... Oh, that has some water in it, but this is empty. Yeah, take that out. We're gonna fill that up with water. <laughs> yeah, pick it up. Uh, do I have a hose? I need a hose for this. I know riveting stuff, our survivor, our doomsday mega survivor over here. Um, hold on. I should be able to fill more than that. Can't I just like fill this whole thing? Yeah, and then can't I be like, yo, fill that with this. And then yeah, it's full. Boom. Problem solving. Uh, and then fill that as well. Okay. I don't know if we'll be able to install this with water inside of it. I don't think we will be able to, but we can try. I think it was like... Wasn't it one of these center ones? Yeah, I don't think we can install it. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna let me. Just drink. Yeah, have have a little swig there. You'll be fine. And I guess dump out the rest of the wa uh, unload the rest of the water. There we go. And then we should be able to put that tank back in somewhere. Here we go. And we could fill that with water, but I'm not going to. We'll just keep it stored there for now. Uh, ignore whatever that is. They're not hitting the car, so we're fine. Okay, now the question is, do I want to go up this road just a little bit further and see what's down it? And I think the answer is yes. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go on a little adventure. Let's see what's on the other side of this bridge. Okay, good thing there's nothing there. Kind of going to the blind. Yeah, this whole vehicle going over bridges thing, I don't know how they did it, but it, I'm legit impressed that that works the way it does. It, like, works, act like, well, you know? Let's see what we got down here. Who knows? We could have some really good, like, locations that we stumble across. Like, way out. Oh, look, we've got full batteries somehow. I don't know how, but we managed to get full battery. While we were driving around and stuff. Cool. I'll take it. Uh, we do actually have the water to clean that CVM now, actually. Hold up. Where's that washing kit? There we go. I want to clean all of those things, actually, while we're at it. Sure. 
Okay. And then I also want to try mending that. And man, if I can get that installed, I think we'll be like that much closer to being invincible. Uh, do I have any autoclaves? Ouches, yes, we do. Southeast. Okay, we'll just put it to our southeast when we're done. Okay, and then we'll just dump that in there. And I just want to make sure that I have already got the titanium skeleton bracing. Yeah, I do already have that. That's what I thought. I mean, it would be a nice one to give to, like, a companion, you know? Get the autoclaves going, that's good. That means we can continue to drive, and that will keep on working in the background. And we can just keep on doing our thing, you know? Okay, so I think the road just might just keep on going, and I just didn't know where it goes to. That's okay. We can go on a little adventure. Uh, we don't have any easy way of installing our CVMs right now. So we'll just kind of follow the road, and maybe we'll find a lab or something. You never know. I think this will actually connect back up. No, it doesn't look like it connects back up. Looks like it's doing its uh, its own thing here. Ending at a trail. Okay. Interesting. I haven't seen that before where it's just a road that ends at a trail like that. Okay, let's go a little quicker. We can. But we don't want to hit cars, so we need to make sure we're not being dumb. Okay, there's a shelter. That could have some loot, but it's not like going to be anything that's like game changing. Honestly, at this point. Uh, what is this? A lumber mill. Eh. I mean, I don't think there's going to be any CVMs in there. Right? Okay, what's down this way? Just more road? I mean, can I see anything off the road, or... No. I kind of want to see what's back up this way real quick. <laughs> We're just going for a drive. This is uh, Nosh Goes for a Drive episode. You know, you got to go a little bit off-brand. It's like the musical episode. Oh gosh, Nosh the musical. That's a terrifying thought. Okay, there's a mansion here. I mean, it could have some kind of powerful zombies. I think we need to go zombie killing. There's not been many cities around here. It's just kind of crazy. It's like, they're kind of spread out around here. Maybe we're about to come up on some, though. But it's more of that I, I would like to do something with our character, like, um... Like, get more CVMs installed, or, or I don't know. The martial arts, that would also be kind of cool. Okay, there's a motel here. Is that it? Is that all that's here? It seems like that's all that's here. Or does the road kind of go cut through here? I'm having to run over zombies. Yeah, it looks like it ends here. Well, that is a royal shame. <laughs> Drove all the way out here and there's nothing. Alright, well, I suppose we can kind of cut over and see if we can find a path that lets us uh, make it over here. This looks like a city to me, right? Isn't that a city? There's a lot of ants. There's a young ant. Queen, our nemesis. Not if we get that thermal CVM though. Then we'll be able to just like attack those things while naked. Then we'll be able to stop this. 
Like legit, you, like fire doesn't hurt you like at all anymore if you got that thing on. I don't know how expensive it is though to run. I feel like that would be a very expensive CBM to run. Oh look, there's a smoky bear. Okay, we're kind of connecting over this way back to that road soon. Yes, here we go. Where are we? A Brandon drive through so the special location, whatever it was, got turned into an abandoned drive through That's a shame. A real big shame. Could be some good zombies, though, to kill around here, by the looks of it. Though I'd like rather to not be trying to fight in just a completely glitched out location. That doesn't seem like good, you know? Uh, what's this right here? Military bunker. Is that the one... Okay, there's gotta be um, zombies following us. And so we need to be careful because, like... In trying to get this bunker over open, we're probably gonna attract zombies. So I just need to be ready for that reality. Okay, let's um turn off these dial lights. I'm gonna keep the headlights on. Uh, do I still have that military ID on me? I do not. Uh, we're gonna have to do some rearranging. Hold on. Gotta empty out the pockets and whatnot. Of all the stuff we don't really need. Come on. Game. You gotta stop doing this to me. Ten. It needs ten space. I don't have ten space, man. This game is just a... Uh... It'll rough up with me. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna just grab the military thing and just get my inventory and go. Yeah, we're carrying some stuff we don't need to, but we can fit other things in the bag. Okay, whatever. Sure. Okay. Swipe the card. Uh, let's get. One of those grenades out. Open that. And activate that. And throw it right there. Close. Earplugs. I mean, you know how it goes by now. I'm not even gonna take the earplugs out. That We know that these are dead, and these are not uh, dead. So... It's got a other grenade out. Where is it? I'm not seeing the other grenade. Here we go. Wield that. Activate. And then throw. And that should be enough to kill those. And I think we shot the one that was down, right? Uh, it's it's the one that has all the all of the loot, like where you can see it. Let's see, there's sometimes RCBMs in here. Let's see four. That's tempting. I mean, there's so many things I know I should be picking up, but I don't really use them. Yeah, okay. Nothing that I want. Looted, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> that might be a lab that's down at the end of this, this road here. It's a shame that those bunkers don't have the CBM installation thing. I mean, if we get a nice lab though, then we should be able to do that there. We'll find a nice lab eventually. One to settle down with. Raise a family in. Uh, what is this? That's the van drive through. Yeah. This whole area is messed up. 
I love you, Kata, but there's some weird things going on with the save, with the generation of special locations. It's a shame, because I really have enjoyed this series so much. Okay, just a radio tower. That's it. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I know we should be not doing this during the night, but I don't really know what else to do. I suppose we could do some crafting till this morning. Um, or let's keep on going along these roads. Yeah? Yeah, let's do that. That seems like a better idea. Well, let's just explore the road. The open road. Maybe craft more mutagen. This giant frog's there. Yeah, I kind of want to just go south, because I feel like whatever that was supposed to be got messed up. And now I just am curious about what is down off these roads here. Okay, now we're going into these forests. What is going on here? There better be a lab at the end of this. It feels very ominous, us going down this road so far. There's some zombies. Okay, near like some sort of bus. Like that shambler. That wasn't so bad. Got a car here. Okay. Again, not so bad. And we've got the engine that we could probably not just knock it out of the way if we needed to anyways, right? Let's see, what's what's all the way down here? There's gotta be something down here. Right? Come on, RNG. What have you got for me here? What is the missile silo? Nice. With the random fire things. I don't know what's going on there. Like some floating fire effects. Uh, what's this? Ooh, this, you know what that means. There might be a lab underneath here. It's a pretty good chance that there's a lab under here. Okay, let's just kind of slow it down. But we're going to have to really bust in. Oh, this is like a completely different layout now. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, okay, I'm going to need to reload our flashlight. Get that in there. Okay. Just making sure... Yeah, we really should get rid of some of the stuff I'm carrying. How much do we have in the fridge? How much space do I have? Yeah, I'm sorry, fridge. I gotta put some stuff in there that I shouldn't really be putting in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the oxygen tank. Um, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And I think the rest of the stuff I could probably just like dump out, honestly. <laughs> like all that chitin. I don't need that. I honestly can't even remember where I got it from. Oh yeah, we like dissected some insects or something in between the episodes, I think. Something like that. I don't need to be carrying water these bottles around. I don't think I need those rags. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll regret that. Uh, make sure. Oh, um, I just put that away. <laughs> is my? I think my toolbox is actually better. Toolbox, get that. I know it's a little bit bigger than a crowbar, but wait, hold on. What about this? Ah, uh, really? That's weak. Okay, well, I guess we'll break in with the glass there. Uh, can I wield my crowbar? 
I'm just gonna like knock my way in. Okay, cool. We're in. Just like that. Uh, let's get our gun out. Uh, what do we have in here? I'm hearing some clanging. Clanging. Doors locked. Doors locked. I think there's something trying to get to me. Um, I can't open these, can I? Okay, well, let's just get the crowbar right back out then. Uh, oh, never mind. We're gonna shoot the zombie cop. Dead. If there's more zombies, then we're gonna have to shoot more of them dead. Hello. Any more? Yeah, there's one more. This seems like a very, very, very different location than what I, I'm used to. I feel like it's easier to get out of. Which is good, because the old prison was insane. It was like, ins like just impossible to get out of. Oh, there's some pretty good gear in here too, and a lot of it. Nice. And if you can get to this room, then you're out, essentially, because that was like super easy to get out. Um, I would really like it if I could have my flashlight on and get a little peek down here. Hello there, sir. Madame. <laughs> I had a feeling. I had a feeling that things were interesting down there. Oh, there's a Night Stalker. How are you, Night Stalker? Can I just auto on you? <laughs> because I have the ammo, why not? <laughs> uh, let's see what else we've we got in here. Okay, interesting. Uh, where are they? Okay, they're kind of like coming at me now. Yeah, I'm breaking into the prison right. Careful, this character. But we're not not just like breaking into the prison. I'm hoping that there's like a top secret lab down downstairs, which. Is definitely a distinct possibility you know, in this game. How is the downstairs looking now? If I take a gander. Oh, look, there's the juggernaut just all by himself. Perfect. Let's go that auto aim. Okay, now they're pretty hurt. Can I get like... Okay. They're very much like just about done. But they aren't done. Oh, look, they followed me up. Run away! Get more power back, hopefully. Can I reload it, actually? Yeah, actually, I, I think I should be good. Maybe I wait. Yeah, we got one more shot. Cool. And then... There we go. <laughs> got him with a shotgun shell. A heavily armored enemy like that. That's ridiculous. Anything's possible, kids. Set your... I hope so. Um, we have here, my gosh. Okay. Smash all of those, yes. Uh, and then what's this here? Another technician, an industrial ID card. Okay, there are two technicians dead on the ground there. Uh, let's get this back out. And let's get one of my statics out. 
hoping that we can find a lab down here. I have no idea what the layout of this is like now. I don't know if there, where the lab entrance would be, you know. So we got that that issue. But there's a flashlight downstairs. Oh, that's interesting. So that that should help with uh, possible escapee situations going down here and checking things out like that. Sledgehammer is also extremely useful. Wow. Okay, so they basically have given you how you get out of here is you go down. Yeah, you basically go downstairs after you found a battery on some dude somewhere. <laughs> um, question is, should I try and dissect these guys here and now? I think the answer is yes. Fine cutting. Hold up. Uh, do that. And then I think if we have that away, then we should be able to do this. Can I actually bring you upstairs so I don't have to use my flashlight on the, on this? This seems a little wasteful. You know? Like, if I can dissect this dude out here, why not? I have surgical scalpels. What do you mean? There we go. <laughs> kind of weird, because it normally doesn't do that. That's why I'm getting it kind of like thrown off by that. Okay, come on. What have you got for me, technician? Nothing. Okay. Let's get your friend right here. Maybe they'll have something for us. I'm feeling hopeful. Um, go. I feel like I did. I must have changed some setting or something somewhere. I don't know how or when, or maybe I haven't been using these. Maybe I'm using an exacto knife instead of these. I heard a smash from below, that's interesting. That indicates that there's something going on down there. Uh, just a clock? Really? Okay. Alright, well I think that we're about half an hour in, so I'm gonna end this here. We'll loot the rest of this next episode, maybe have a look around our surroundings, see what we can find. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.